Right, so this is a very quick tour of the property before the light fades. Um, but this is the kitchen area, great kind of little lounge, small lounge area. Quite a pleasant looking bathroom and shower, a rainforest style shower head. So your two singles and then the double. So pretty much everything you need for a biking trip. If there's three, maybe four of you, you can get away with it. We're currently 45 minutes from uh, Inner Leafen. So I think it's 25 miles. We are currently uh, slightly northeast of Inner Leafen. So yeah, closest, uh, most affordable property that I could find. I think it was around 80 pounds per night. Nice little seating area out here for coffee breakfast maybe if the weather allows and actually so at home I have a bean to cup coffee machine which I absolutely love it was a Christmas present from my girlfriend a partner uh, a few years ago and I use it a lot and I absolutely love it um, but obviously you can't really take it away with you it's quite big it's quite bulky and it's it just doesn't make sense to take away so I've just picked up, and uh, some of you coffee lovers might be familiar with AeroPress, the AeroPress Go in particular. It's kind of like a travel uh, AeroPress. I've never tried one, so I'm gonna give, give it a go now, uh, test it out. That is my plan for um, the mornings. Make some coffee in that, uh, instead of trying to find a decent coffee, which is something that I always struggle with when I go away. Perfect. And then enjoy your coffee whilst watching some mountain bike videos. Ready to get excited for the next couple of days riding. I mean, what more could you ask for? Okay, so it is morning and I've had coffee, had breakfast, done some stretches got my stuff together and pretty much ready to go it has actually started raining but it's kind of like a light drizzle a light drizzly kind of rain so I'm sure it'll be fine it is Scotland after all um, but I'm taking a rain jacket um, just to keep the worst of the weather off and obviously up the top where it's going to be exposed apparently can get quite cold and miserable so yeah but just going prepared to take in an extra layer um see what there is about but yeah just have a pretty much chilled morning and just kind of uh, take it easy i think and just and there's no pressure to kind of be the fastest down the trails or do anything um too crazy so yeah just going to go through a bit of a drive now 45 minute drive 25 miles ish uh and then we should be there Okay, so I've done a very short climb from the car park uh, and now I'm on the DH trail push up, which is quite steep. Uh, you could definitely ride it on an e bike and you could ride it on an all bike, but I'm pretty knackered already uh, and I want to conserve my energy instead of keep stopping. Um, so yeah pretty much push up till we get to the far road and then hopefully I can have a steady cruise to the near the top okay so I just pushed slash ridden up that bit 
I've now reached the fire road and I could continue that way which I think goes all the way around the loops around before it comes back up looks like it goes downhill that way uh, or I could continue pushing up that track there so I'm just going to have a look at trail forks now see which is the more direct route to uh, the trails that I plan to start riding um, yeah it's all an adventure all a bit of an exploration there uh, it's good it's good fun so just working my way up the fire road and I've made it to the probably YouTube famous um, road gap and you can see here come down from up the steep bit down that kind of little drop compression and then this jump here kind of sends you over the fire road probably about five bike lengths I would say to clear it properly thereabouts and then you go into the abyss into the darkness into the woods I'm not quite sure what trail starts up the top um, so I don't know if I'll be riding this today uh, but the road cap looks like you can land it flat so go as fast as or as uh, drop as far jump as far as you want really I guess um, yeah so I'm going to continue up this fire road here aiming for angry sheep I think for my first trail okay so there's been a change of plan um, I realized there's a, a section further up to angry sheep which is um, a name I've forgotten, but I'm basically up here now at this top of Matador, which I think is quite a hard to trail, and it's pretty much a bog everywhere you look around here. So yeah, the upper bit very boggy, quite rooty. So yeah, first trail, Hogger's Delight, the squeaky brakes. Obviously that wasn't tight enough. Interesting. Oh, it's a good job I've got my Crank Bros multi tool. This is awesome, this tool. About 23 quid or something. But I always like to carry it on with wherever I can. Hopefully I can find a way of stashing it on the bike at some point, but yeah, that's no good. <laughs> no good at all. Okay, so angry sheep. Let's see what this one is about. Okay, so I've had lunch, 
refueled. I've made my way back up and I'm pretty tired. It's just starting to spit with rain and yeah, it's pretty dead, pretty quiet. And what else can I say? It looks extremely dark in the woods. But I thought, as soon as I have to go through the tunnel section, the woods, to go down IXS, I thought I might as well have a little run in and then have a go on the little road cap. Not expecting to get anywhere near clearing it, but just to get a little run in, see what it's like, because I might not be back here for a while. God, even the running looks horrible. Uh. Well, that is it. I am pretty sweaty. I was quite intense doing the lower, uh, steep downhill sections. I just kind of, it's like a free for all, just kept sw switching between trails unintentionally. Uh, but yeah, good day. Some slippery tech riding. The Forbidden Dreadnought did a good job. Felt very comfortable on it. 
obviously it's no match for an e-bike on the uphills but i didn't really feel the bits that i could ride i was restricted by the uh, uh friction or extra resistance of the higher pivot like the extra roller uh, so it seems to be all right it climbs as well as a normal bike can climb really you think you need to uplift here to get the most out of your day uplift with a regular bike unless you are super fit and a beast uh, or you've got an e-bike of course you can get the laps in but yeah pretty happy gonna give the bike a quick wash put it back in a van uh, and then tomorrow I'm gonna try and ride the golfy so yeah get the bike it in the van go and find the parking spot that I'm gonna park at tomorrow just so I know where it is and uh, yeah, have some dinner, have a chill out, and do it all again tomorrow. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.